It's like a mini museum, but yes, it's a mini exactly. museum. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. If the car, if the car stays at at my house, nobody can enjoy, right? I see. You, I put it there, everybody can enjoy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also, I got a very good garage with air condition. Ah, very <laughs> strict, and it is very important to be disciplined. Right. Right. Disciplined, trustworthy, uh, reliability. It's all very important. Yeah. If you keep that reputation, eventually your life become easy. In every business, there is always an opportunity. Okay? There is always an opportunity because. Good morning, speeders. Welcome to another episode of Speeder Talks, where we talk about cars, business, and everything else in between, including philosophy. And today we're hosted again at Region Residences Jakarta, where we have beautiful 360 view of the city. Today is not that bad. I think we can see a little bit of pollution, but it's you can see blue skies, so that's very nice. So today we have a very, very special guest. Now, I know I say that about a lot of our guests, but this is one that I've been wanting to have uh, on this seat next to me, and it's a, truly an honor to have Pak Buche with Yoyo. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Pak. Thank you. Kuhatu Thank you, Mike. you. Alles goed. Yeah. <laughs> Alles goed. Yeah. Uh, so Pak Buche, as you may or may not know, has been involved in uh, Lamborghini for quite some yes. time and yes. owns uh, the rarest Lamborghini in Southeast Asia. So we're going to chat about that yeah. a bit more okay. a bit later. Uh, but first, of course, here we are all car guys. But, yeah. So talk to us about uh, your current car collection or maybe uh, how did you get your hands on the Mira S? Ah, so, okay. I have heard about this Mira. Okay. Uh, since uh, 74. 74. 50 years ago. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I, I heard from my brother, George. Okay. 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 So, uh, and uh, the, the owner of the Mura was also a friend of us. I didn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and then, and then after that, I went to study abroad. Right. Okay. I, I studied abroad, so I, I, I didn't, I didn't follow up everything about all the car. And then, when I, when I came back here in the in Indonesia in 19, yeah, I started actually. I came back in Indonesia in 1982. 82, okay. And then in 1988, 86, I started to have interest in uh, restoring cars. I see. Restoring cars. So, and then one day I met uh, a person uh, at the gallery, admin gallery. Okay, yeah, okay. Gallery. Here, yeah, in, in, in Jakarta. 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 Okay. okay. And this person was asking me, uh, are you are you are you a kid or uh, interesting painting called fragment? And then I said no, no. Oh, why are you here? Mm. I said because I I'm here because the owner of the gallery is a keen car collector. Okay. And I... we have the same uh, hobby. Eh? Okay. Classic, especially classic. And then she and then she said to me, I have a, a, a Lamborghini. I was very shocked. Okay. I was very shocked. And then I I, I answered. Uh, what type? Uh, and she, she said, she, she, she doesn't know what type. And then I asked, how many doors? Uh, I, how many doors? Uh, uh, doors is all, all, all two, Lamborghini, all doors. Yeah. All doors. Yeah. In those days. In those in days, now days. they're the SUV. Yeah. Yeah, but. So, so, <laughs> okay. so, and then I, I asked uh, the location of the engine. And she didn't know. Okay, okay. And I asked the color of the car. She didn't know. Okay. And I, I just asked her, is it possible to have a look? Mm. She said, yes, yes, okay. yes. And then one day we make an appointment and have a look. I already suspect, I was hoping it was a mirror because I know where the uh, Espada is. Okay. Because in those days there were four Lamborghini. Okay. Two Espadas. One Yarama. Arama, they call it Arama. Yeah, Arama, okay. And then the, the other one is a Miura. And I, I know, I know those three, but I, I didn't know where this one, this one is. I see. Okay. Okay. So and when when the garage was open, it was in you. Wow. So that was here. You Pluit. in Pluit. Pluit. Wow. Okay. Pluit. Okay. Okay. So it wasn't a global search. It was a it was a local local car. Local. That was here since seventy four. Uh, you said it, it came in 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 uh, in, in, in Samara. I, I can see from the paper, ah, the, 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 the document. Okay, the, okay. It arrived in Semarang in uh, in seventy two. The car is pro produced in seventy one. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Wow. And then, and then since then, since then, I'll try to visit uh, 
<laughs> the owner and blew it. Okay. Like uh, every week, every every other week, and every month, regularly, I tried to persuade him to sell. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 he 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 was not willing to sell. You know? Okay. He was not willing to sell until one day, and until one day, I went there again, but he already moved house. Okay. Move house. So I didn't know where it is. Okay. Okay. So I lost contact. So. One day, one, one day, uh, I met uh, the, the the nephew of the owner uh, of the owner of the car. Okay. I met the nephew, and then I asked uh, uh, about where her uncle is now. And okay. then he said, "I give you the number." I see. Okay. Okay. And then uh, the phone number. And, and, and in the meantime, the, the, the handphone already exists. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Because okay. in nineteen nineteen ninety. I think the uh, handphone was not very common. Yeah, 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 not yet. Yeah. yeah, they they were they were around the Siemens or something, the big ones. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So and then I I, I visited them and then I came there and then I I I, I was talking about whether, whether he is willing to sell, you know? Okay. Uh, actually, at that time, he was already willing to sell okay. because he just had a heart attack. Oh. And he he knows that he cannot continue with the car. No? I see, I see. But he was still driving it, no, and no, no. oh no, no, it no, was not in the, garage in the, queen, not yeah. in, the, in not in the driving condition. Oh, not in the driving condition. Okay. Actually, it is in a very sad condition. Ah, okay, okay. Because uh, the car was in fluid, the so soil fluid. You know, if it's flooded, it's sea water. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Salt water. Yeah. So, 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 so the floor, the floor pan was rusted. Hmm. So it, it's 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 a, in a sad condition. And then and then eventually. We talk about uh, haggling the price and everything. Mm -hmm. After everything, eventually, uh, he, he, he wanted to sell to me because because he said, actually, in those days there were two other competitors. Okay, two other interested parties. Okay. Very potential, very potential. Okay, okay. I, I didn't know who they were. Okay, <laughs> but I know. Now you know. No, I. <laughs> I no, I know. But, no, I know. Okay, so, okay. So. But the, the 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 owner is very nice. It's actually the son, the son of the owner. Okay, okay. Son of the owner is very nice. He switched off the phone of uh, he blocked the phone of the the, the two other competitors. Wow. Uh, during uh, during negotiation. Wow. Uh, okay. It, it, I think he blocked the phone for, for, for one month. Wow. Wow. Until we we, we come to an agreement, uh, and then uh, the car was shipped to my house, and then he turned on. The, the the phone of the two other competitors. Okay, okay. To let them know it's it's done. And then the, yeah. immediately one one call one call. Okay. One call the the one uh, who lives in Bandung. Okay, okay. He called. Uh, he was he heard that the car was sold. Oh, he heard it already. He heard it already. It spread very fast. Wow. <laughs> wow. So so. He heard and then he said. Uh, Can you give me uh, the, uh, the, the 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 name of the owner and number? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I want to I want to talk to him. Okay. And then and then the, uh, and then uh, the previous owner said, No, I cannot do that. Yeah. I cannot do that. Yeah. So it was all he gave up. Okay. Eventually we we become a good friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Eventually people will know where the Miura ass yes, is. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Wow. And th so this is what year, about? Nineteen nineties. No. no. I got this car in 2009. Oh wow! So actually, okay. from the first time I saw the car until I got the car was 20 years. Wow! But but the owner of the car, the owner of the car thought that I I already uh, pursued this car for 30 years because the the other thing was my brother, brother John. Oh. But oh, he was confused between me and John. Okay. He it's the same person. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why he gave he gave me priority. Ah, wow! Okay. The, the, the father the, the the father told the son, give Bucci the priority because he already he was already interested in this car for for the last. In those days, it was like uh, 30 years. I see. That's why he gave that as a priority. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So persistent pays off. Is the exactly. moral <laughs> persistent pays exactly. off exactly. and good good network and uh, interaction, right? You were there every week. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So they remember you. Oh yes. Oh yes. We, so uh, because of that, until now we are very close. 
Okay. okay. <laughs> Good friends. Wow. And of course, before we continue with the Mirror S, now you were you you brought a very special, another special car. I think you're in there. There are no not no special cars in your collection, but you have the Murcielago. Yes. Um, I've seen that car for 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 a while. I think you did a little interview with that car a while ago yeah, yes, in, yes. in Dutch. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And uh, so tell me about and and you also mentioned you have the Aventador yes. uh, and Aniversario. Yeah, Aniversario, fifty fifty. The fifty year uh, anniversary edition and a few Ferraris as well. No, no, I I I, I actually two two. Okay, okay. Yes. but you've always been known as a Lamborghini guy. Yes, right. Pro probably because of the Miura. Because of the Miura. Yeah, yeah. But before, prior to that, uh, what was your um, the brand as uh, Jaguar? It was Jaguar. 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 Okay. The Jaguar. Jaguar was not actually uh, the, the actually the first sport car I bought was a, a, a Jaguar Ita. Ita. Beautiful car. Yeah. One of the most beautiful cars yes. if anything ever but designed. That was like uh, an ecstasy. I was like an ecstasy when I got the car. Hmm. Hmm. And this was when it was. Uh, it was in nineteen eighty-eight. Nineteen eighty-eight. Okay. Okay. So it's already a collector, like yeah, collector's yeah, car, right? Yeah. So it's all, it was all, it was also abandoned. Oh, abandoned. Abandoned. Not in not not in driving condition. Okay. 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 So the, the first time was in e time and then I restored the e time Very enthusiast. Very enthusiast. And then the, when when it when it uh, when it uh, drove. I enjoyed very much going to Punjak and everything, but, but Edwin, Edwin Soret, yeah, Edwin yeah. Arjo, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but the whole gang, all classic cars, so fun, it was so fun. Okay. And okay. Punjak was not very crowded as now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traffic isn't. Yeah, no, so we, we, uh, normally we, we went from, from Kemang, six o'clock in the morning. Wow. And normally uh, about uh, 10 o'clock in the morning, we already came back to Jakarta. Ah. It was nice, right? Very nice, yeah. very nice. Uh, after that, uh, I I I I found uh, Mercedes Pagoda. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So very nice. It's a two door, two door Mercedes. Two doors, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And the third one was uh, Lamp uh, Ferrari. Uh, no, 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 not Ferrari. It's a Jaguar XK140. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I, back to Jaguar. Back to Jaguar. Yeah. Okay. But because when I when when I got the E Type, I got interested in Jaguar. Okay. And then because of that, I saw the XK140 on the pictures, right? Yeah, yeah. And because of the, wow, I thought because the Jaguar XK140, what's special about the XK140? Because the style is still pre-war mm. style. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's actually or it was already on the paper at Jaguar, but because of the war, mm -hmm. they stopped production. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then after the war, they resumed production. So the styling was still pre-war. Ah. So it makes so nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's interesting how that also translates to watches as well, right? Pre-war Rolex and post-war Rolex. Yeah. And that it was a, it was a mark in history where yeah. okay, designs before then is it's something else. Yeah. 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 It's something special. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so Lamborghini started your your interest in Lamborghini started only after the Miura and uh, or uh, before that. But. Actually, when I was still uh, playing with the Mercedes and Jaguar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lamborghini is always everybody's dream, right? but it's expensive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is way ex more expensive than the other cars, like mm -hmm. Jaguar. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, the, the cost of re repair parts and everything is yeah. very expensive. Yeah. So, so after uh, and also in '88 and then and two. So after ten years, I get a more like a more uh, space to. To, to breathe with, with, with financially. Yeah. <laughs> so I was already able to afford a, a, a Lamborghini. I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> and so what was the first Lamborghini? That's, what, that's, that's, uh, actually, uh, my, 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 the first Lamborghini was actually the Miura. Miura. The Miura, Miura was the first. So, oh, I thought the Murcielago no, would have, because no, no, it was in no. 2009. Ah, okay. First, and then the Murcielago I bought in 2010. Okay. Okay. 2010. Okay, so shortly after. Yeah, shortly after because uh, because uh, I I was I was invited into the club. Okay. When I got the Miura. Yeah. But I cannot participate in all the tours. Ah. And, and I always at the auto mall, you know that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dulu di yeah, 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 yeah. And there were two cars that I I loved very much. 
two cars. Okay. That was a Lamborghini, a uh, Murcielago, the green one. Me, the green one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other one is the, the Ferrari 360 Spider yellow one. Oh, okay. I love those two cars very much. Yeah, yeah. And luckily, those cars are now mine. Oh. <laughs> so you have the Spider, the I 360 the spider. spider. Okay, wow. But because the Spider, the 360 was the, the first car legally uh, uh, coming into Indonesia. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because before, before that legal was actually like like, like in 74, 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Well, well, I think the 360 is interesting because I would argue it's the best sounding Ferrari V8 because the, the V8s afterwards are, they sound a little bit different on the Ferraris, but the 360 somehow. Yeah, 360, 430, uh, 458 are still nice. Yeah. But yeah, after yeah. that, uh, after that, I think they, they have like a, a like a turbo. Yeah, turbocharged. Yeah. Yes, yes. So it's a bit mumbled. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Not as exactly. free uh, sounding, yeah? Yeah. So uh, let's go back to the Mira S okay. a little bit. So okay. you, you you got in 2009 and you started restoring it. And we chatted a little bit about your restoration. So yes. uh, guide me through so what, what, did you, what did you have to go through to finally restore it? Because you said it was in a bad condition yes. when you got it. So I, I, have, a, I have a friend. I have a friend... Uh, He's, he's, I know he's very good in the restoring car. Very okay. Good. Indonesian. In Indonesia. Indonesia. World class. Okay. World class. Okay. So, uh, and then I let him restore. And, and because of, and he can bring the, his team to my house. So wow. the, car, the car doesn't have to go anywhere. Okay. Okay. Stay okay. In, in my house. Okay. Stay in my house, he restored everything. So, and uh, restored engine, every, 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 until the drive, the, 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 the car, drive eh? mm. so and i tried the car uh the door did not fit very well you know? okay and then and then and then during restoration uh the for the position of the front windscreen is not very perfect okay eh? okay so it is it was because uh in fluid during the flood mm. the floor was completely rusted Oh wow! It's corroded, and, then huh? and then, and then the owner, uh, what do you call that? that with, 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 with support. Okay. Huh? Okay. The car support. Okay. They put, make it higher. Yeah. So, yeah. so the flood will not uh, affect the, the car. Yeah. And in, 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 and during during the, during the, the the support, the 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 welder try to fix uh, the floor. Okay. But so, because when when the floor pan is not strong. It's not the car also not kind of easily twisted. Yeah, it, eh? yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. if you uh, walk because of heat. Yeah, right? yeah. Because of the heat, it can twist. So mm. apparently there's some twisting. Okay. So okay. that's why that's why after restoration uh, in Jakarta, it's it's not very good. Hmm? I see. So you felt it when you turn, uh, or it's difficult to do. The door is difficult. Difficult. To, I to, see. To close. Okay. You, you have to push. Huh? Okay. 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 So I thought and. And in, in the meantime, this, this car market value abroad in the world is very high. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and then, but the market value depends on the quality of restoration. Right, right. So I thought, since the quality of the market price is already high, I think it is uh, justifiable to to restore it abroad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So and then and then uh, and and then, I asked uh, Lamborghini Jakarta whether they can help me because because with the to, to communicate with Lamborghini mm -hmm. uh, Italy Italy whether uh, they, they are able to help me with the with the restoration and they said yes you can do it okay you can do it and then okay. after that I, I I found someone I need to find it's difficult because I've never shipped a, a car abroad never okay so this was your first rodeo first, in, in first, shipping first, in abroad first, wow first. okay but, Eventually, I found someone uh, who, who 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 used to ship cars in and abroad for racing. Okay. So and then I asked him, but he can help me. And then he said, I can help you. And the car was shipped to Italy. Wow. So how long until? Eighteen months. Eighteen months. 18 it months. was in so, Italy. So actually, uh, if you ship a car abroad, uh, you, you got uh, one year per. Okay. With the option to extend another one year. Okay. Maximum two years. 
Okay. Tapi dia harus to come back to Indonesia. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay, okay. That that is Indonesian regulation. Indonesian or? regulation. I see. Indonesia. Okay. So the car was shipped, and then uh, after one year, uh, before one year, we we extend the permit, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then luckily before two years, the car already came back here. I see. Wow. So when so you got it in 2009. When was the year where you drove it and like I think this is dialed in. I think this is the car is already. Acceptable, or at least this is what I dreamt of after, driving after, the Mirai. After, after race or restoration is done, the Lamborghini uh, factory called me to to visit and to test drive together with you. Uh, oh, so actually I drive I drove with my wife. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So and and then they, they. So this is in Italy or in they, Italy? In Italy. In Italy. Ah, so before they ship it back, it's like yeah, hey, before they ship uh, it. come here. Yes, exactly. So they, they, it, it was in Modena Autodrome, something like that. Okay. okay. So I drove. This easy said, "You may drive for, for even if you want. If you want to drive 10 hours, it's also okay." Wow. So I drove probably like one hour round. Okay. Around the, around the, 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 the wow. Okay. And okay. It was uh, nice. Okay. And I said, "Okay, you can ship it back." And before I ship it back, before I ship it back, I said, "I want to participate." In the concourse. Okay. In concourse, uh, concourse. Actually, I wanted to go participate in concourse in uh, Lago Lago di Com- Villa d'Este. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. but uh, it was already like, Villa d'Este is always in May, eh? and then uh, it was already in uh, it was already something like in June uh, July. I said, and then the next one they said they said is Hampton Court, London. Okay. Okay. And okay. we so we ship it, uh, the, ship the car to London. To London, okay. And, and I participate in that. Wow. And then what year was this? What you it remember? It was in 2018. 2018. Wow. So nine years after you got the car. Yes, nine years. You participated in yes. the and, and I participate. I, I won the first prize. Wow. First prize for the, that category because uh, uh, at uh, at the concourse you have categories, eh? Yeah. Categories. Yeah. 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 I won. I won for the category number one. Wow! What was the category? Do you remember? Is for Lamborghini Classic, or I'm not so sure. That's I'm familiar so it with is, the... It's for the years, the year. Okay. Like like, okay. like uh, classification is from 60 until. Okay. 70, okay. 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 And from 20 until 30, something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. And and now the car is resting in. Uh, Pacific place. Pacific place. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see a lot. Every time I have a meeting there, I see yeah, 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 Babuchi's yeah, yeah, car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You still drive it uh, around when there are events, or uh, bit... the last time I drove just a little bit uh, during uh, the, uh, there was a concourse in uh, Four Seasons Hotel. Oh yeah, 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 I, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. I, I, a few years ago. Okay. Okay. I drove it there. Ah. Uh... Oh, that must have been legend. So once every few years, it does get out from the show. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> they, but they heat it up for you and they, they take care of the car. That, that is what they say. Okay. <laughs> we can I, audit that a little bit. <laughs> I, told, I, told, I told them to, to, to maintain it. To maintain it. Okay, okay, okay. In exchange for the beautiful car being exposed yeah, to the public. For, for me, for me, it's also... It's like a mini museum. Yes, it's a exactly. mini museum. Yeah, for me, yeah, yeah. If, if, the car, if the car stays at, at my house, nobody can enjoy it. Right? I see. You, I put it there. Everybody can enjoy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. also, I got a very good garage with air conditioning. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes, that's right. Air conditioning. <laughs> so you you were attracted. Was Mirror a model that you've been interested in since you were young, or it sort actually, of grew after actually, a while? Actually, actually, when the Mura was launched, I didn't know. Okay. Actually, my 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 brother just know. Okay. He 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 knew. He knew okay. about the Miura. Okay. But uh, I and then when when I studied uh, in in Holland. Okay. 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 It was actually the time of Kuntash. Yes. Yes. So Kuntash was actually my obsession, mm. not the Miura because Miura was obsolete. Mm, right? mm, mm. Kuntash. Okay. So, but. Uh, so what drew you back to Mira? I mean, why why didn't because, you go for a Diablo or a Countach? Or? Because uh, uh, before, but in nineteen uh, in the year eighties, ninety, you, you, you didn't have what choice. You only have the choice whatever have, but whatever whatever exists in Indonesia. Uh, okay, okay. Ah, and at that point there was no Countach. Oh, there were only there were only four. The four, yeah, yeah, the one you mentioned. Two Espada, 
one harama and one ewer. That's it. I see. Okay, so it's more like availability rather than... Yes, exactly. But if you had the choice at that time, would you have chosen something else? If it, the bill probably, bill. probably, uh, I still chose the mirror. Oh, still the mirror. Yeah. Still legendary. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because I, because uh, I, 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 I started to, 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 to read a lot yeah. about Lamborghini. Yeah. And then I, I was very much attracted to the Lamborghini Miura because Miura is a very French specialist. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. And then, and then I met the, the, main engineer of the Lamborghini Miura. Okay. Yeah. In Italy? In Italy. Okay. So, I, I, because uh, when you restore the car, you get like a certificate, eh? yeah. like, like a book, like a book. Okay, certificate. okay, okay. And then I said, I said to, to Lamborghini uh, in Italy, I want this book to be signed by Giampaolo Dallara. Giampaolo Dallara. Wow, okay. And I, I, said, I said, can you arrange a meeting with Giampaolo? And then he said, okay, of course. And then they arranged a meeting and then brought me there, brought, brought me there and signed the book. Wow. So you got to personally meet yes, exactly. the person behind exactly. the car. The okay. engineer, the main engineer was Giampaolo Dallara. The main designer was uh, Marcello Gandini. Wow. Gandini. Okay. okay. And then actually, I I was also planning to see Marcello Gandini. Okay. But because of the COVID, I, I postponed. Ah. But unfortunately, Marcello Gandini already passed away. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. After COVID. Uh, After COVID, okay. he passed away. Ah, this Gandini was... But Gandini was also this designer of the Countach. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very, very different styles, but... Yeah. yeah. But very beautiful. Yeah. So, so he's a very special designer. Giampaolo Gian Paolo Dallara is a genius. Giampaolo Dallara. Now, now he has a, he has like a, a campus. He, now he he has like a, like like a, a small university teaching people to design car and racing cars. Mm, I see. Okay. And he also he also make a special. He, he also make a sport cars under the name of Dalla. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. small small production. Small, small production. I see. It's more like. A, it is not 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 supercar. It's not supercar. It's more like a, more like a, like a fun car. Ah, I yeah. see. Okay, but okay. all sport. Still sporty, yes, but sport, a fun yeah. car to drive. Yes. Interesting. Uh, what? Okay, so we've talked about Lamborghini. We've talked about your collection. Uh, is there an affinity with? Uh, we talked about also why you're interested in Lamborghini. It's, yeah. it's sort of a, a a car that you that you built passion over time. Yeah. Uh, but you also like Jaguar since yes. for a while. That was, yes. uh, that was the first brand that you yes. jumped into. Uh, what are your thoughts about, a lot of guests here love the Porsche, right? Yeah. What are your thoughts about um, a Porsche and what makes you think that something is a good car? Is it, is it the, the specs or is it the, the, the drive, the passion that you feel when you, yeah. when you shift the gears, you know? Uh, what makes you decide that, okay, yes, this is a good car and yes, I want to buy it. Yeah. So, yeah. Porsche is a very good car. Probably Porsche is, I think, probably the most reliable sport car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm attracted to the Italian because of the style. Mm. It, it, Italian styling is yeah, it's special. Very special. Yes. So, so I I, I said, uh, my uh, Ita Italian, Italian and, and Italian and German are very very uh, different. German, German, their, their philosophy is style uh, goes after function. Yeah? First, they, they, they design the function. Yeah. And then they, and then after that, they design the style. Mm. In Italy, it's different. It's complete opposite. First, they design the style and then they try to fix, to, <laughs> to fit the function. That's why, that's why, that's why if you, if you go in and out a Lamborghini or a Ferrari, a Lamborghini especially, it's difficult to go in and out. Yeah, yeah. It's not, not easy. Yeah. So because they, for them, style is number one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's that, 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 that passion, Italian passion inside each one of the cars that they design, right? Yes. But once you are inside the car, yeah. it's comfortable. Yes. Just to go in and out is difficult. Mm. Especially if, if you are older. Right. Your neck is a little bit yeah. <laughs> But you you drove that gated shifter still perfectly fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, 
it's and getting in and out still still very yeah, 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 yeah. still very nice. Yeah. <laughs> but if go in and out of Miura, it's difficult. Oh, it's difficult. Because Miura is lower. Oh, I see. Yeah, Miura is lower. So it's harder than Mucha. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Miura, Miura was built by dream, dreamers. Hmm. This, the, the average age was 27. Dalara was still 27 years old when, when he built the Miura. Okay. And he designed it over his body specifications, yes, 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 right? Yes, yes. Whatever he feels. Yes. So dreamers, all dreamers. No, unrealistic dreamers. <laughs> I like that. But okay. it becomes something very special. Wow. Actually, Lamborghini, Lamborghini wanted to build only 100 homo homologation. Eh? Yeah. Homologation. But uh, during the exhibition, people put money, open check, open check. More than 100 until, until Ferruccio said, okay, we produce uh, more than 100. And then eventually they produce like 762. Wow. In total, 762. Wow, nearly eight times more than their planned yes. production. Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, that, that's interesting that you mentioned the difference between German and Italian cars. And also the Lamborghini. Lamborghini, Lamborghini was a, a very young uh, factory in those days. Eh? Mm. So, they practically, they, they practically, they don't have like an RSD. Mm, mm. So, so, so the, the, the buyer of the car, buyer of the car, mm. become the experimental. Mm. So that's why if you buy a Lamborghini, if you bought, bought Lamborghini in those days, if you have complaint, you came back to the, the factory and then the factory will note whatever you complain. Ah, that's, that's, that's it's a the, feedback. Yeah. <laughs> feedback form, okay. <laughs> and then they try to fix it and then, and then uh, they try to, adjust it to the next production. Ah, I see. So they needed the feedback from the yes, customers. Exactly, so exactly. it wasn't fully researched and fully perfect? No, no not in the factory. So the, the research is all by the customer but, on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Some say that that's the best test, right? It still happens <laughs> yeah. today. The recalls are still happening yeah, today. Yeah, yeah. But, so I think just the last part of cars, um, cars have developed a lot since since the yeah. 80s and yeah. probably during the, the era that you, you were restoring cars. Yeah. And you restored the Mura recently. Oh, I would say recently, even though 2009 was yes. was quite a while ago, yeah. more than yeah. a decade ago. Um, but I get sometimes the feeling that modern cars, yes, on paper, it's faster. Yeah. EVs are quick, oh, yeah. right? Uh, acceleration, nothing yeah. can beat EVs. Yeah. But I feel like what you mentioned about Italian cars having this, this passion and um, you know design first before function, or sometimes even... Um, taste before performance figures yeah, yeah, right yeah. uh or feeling or a driving spirit that you cannot really just put on paper yeah uh, that's becoming more and more lost yeah in in modern cars yeah. and and it, it feels uh, the interior feels the same sekarang semua you have a big yeah 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 lcd also, screen also, also. uh the feel it's fast and it's quick it's yeah. faster than any of the cars that we might have adored like 10 years ago yeah or 15 yeah. years ago but how do you feel about that and especially the move to evs and everything like are you against this move or are you supporting it or do you understand where it's I understand going? and I support. This, I, can, I always compare this uh, evolution or revolution of this that, that, techni technological revolution, like the watch, you remember? The watch mm -hmm. watch like, uh, like 50 years ago is all mechanical. Right? Yeah, yeah. All mechanical. And then uh, now uh, everybody use uh, uh, electronic watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but there are still manufacturing mm -hmm. in, in Switzerland. Yeah, only making mechanical watch. Yes, and very expensive. Yeah, and with cars, it will also be like that. Mm. But the majority of the cars will go electric. Yeah, and only a few will still keep making like this analog and mechanical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. analog and mechanical. Yes. Mm. So, that, that, and that, that will become like a special car, like the watch. Yeah. Yeah, it comes to collectors. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. And it is, this is not just in, um, in vehicles or watches. I mean, design styles are becoming, if you notice, more modern designs are just very simple and clean. Yeah. Gak ada lagi ukir-ukiran by hand. Udah, ya udah gak bisa. So there is a little bit of economical uh, factor inside there too. Yeah. Because you know, labor is too expensive. Yeah. And you cannot afford it anymore. So it's something that's uh, not just for progression, or for progress, but it's also, you can't manage to do it anymore. Yes. Yeah. It's a lost art. But yes. It's a lost art. Yes. And I think uh, it translates also into the cars and whatever you have in your collection is going to be art pieces. Oh, yes. 
yes. more and more like art pieces. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we can still revive it. So f thankfully for people like you who still restore cars, yang udah lama ini. I think I think I think they will always be, always be people like me. Yeah, yeah. Passionate about old cars and restoring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's 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 a, it's a journey because yes. securing the parts is one thing, finding the right yes. expertise for a certain yes. part of the car yes. is yeah, and a lot of people can understand that. Yes. <laughs> My wife being one of them. <laughs> okay, okay. Why can't we just get a car with warranty and just like no issues? But I'm like, yeah. no, there is something about it. <laughs> that's so just... that's why that's why if you see if you if if you see people uh, stuck in the middle of the road with a classic car, this smart. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they said yeah. it's part of enjoying. Yes, yes, it's part of it, enjoyment. You know, maybe yeah. maybe their wives can understand yeah, us. Because, because when you when you drive a classic car, that's yeah. the old one. Yeah. You you are you already saying this. There is a possibility that I I got stuck in the middle of the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's part of the plan for the day. Yes, yes. yes <laughs> a little yes, bit of buffer. Yes, but plan of the day. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, we're gonna shift gears a little bit, no okay. pun intended, um, to the second part, which uh, a lot of, again, I mentioned earlier, a lot of our followers and viewers, yeah. uh, they aspire to be like you, yeah. they aspire to be one day um, to own a Lamborghini yeah. or to own a sports car. So tell me about your uh, work or career journey. Uh, I know you mentioned you're not a lawyer, yes. but you're an engineer at I'm heart. Engineer, yeah. Uh, but you run uh, uh, an IP intellectual yes, property exactly, uh, exactly, law firm focused exactly, on that. Exactly. So tell me a little bit about that. So it's been running for uh, a while that you've built Actually, it. Actually, after I graduated, I I, I, I worked at the it was uh, my father, it was for my father office. Father okay. Father. Which was a law, a law firm. It was like a law, a law firm, but especially speci specializing only in intellectual property. Okay. In IP, only in IP. Only in IP. Oh, no, okay. Yeah. Only in IP. Okay. So. And then I I joined them, and then uh, because uh, because of my background, I know I know how to utilize the computer. Mm. And and then and and in nineteen eighty three, computer was still not not common. Yeah. Only big 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 uh, yes. big company. But it was also the beginning of the the PC the mm. the. IBM PC, you know, yeah. that was, yeah. that was the, the beginning. Yeah. So I, and then I started to to use the computer and you know, start to uh, autom automate everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that, but uh, of course, I'm not expert in the computer, eh? mm -hmm. but I I know I know a little, little bit about database and everything. Okay. But it was a little bit helpful, but not fully helpful. Helpful. Okay. And until in in 19, I started in 1983. And then in uh, 1996, we decided to uh, hire a, a, comput a computer uh, consultant. Okay. It okay. was also my friend. Uh, 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 just a coincidence. It was my, because because of because he was my friend. I feel comfortable. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. And I let him do the job. I see. So it it was actually pretty much on time. The or the automation. Eh? Yes. Because. Uh, in the meantime, computer become cheaper and mm -hmm. more affordable. Mm -hmm. Many, 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 many firms are, are using the computer. Yeah. And if we don't move into the computer, we you're left behind. Yeah. Lost. Yeah. Lost. yeah. Yeah. So that was actually my main contribution to the to the firm. I see. That uh, computerization of the the, the the business. The business. Yeah. Right. 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 And before before that, nobody even think. Yeah. Yeah, and it's important because uh, database management uh, and everything yeah. paper-based moving into digital. It's so fast. You Security yeah. and everything is, is a three sixty yeah. understanding of that. The other thing, it's also easy to steal the, the, the data. Correct, correct. But uh, you have you have always plus minus. Yes, everything. yes, yes. And more plus efficient, but yes, yeah. And uh, and now it's moving into AI, <laughs> which is a whole other ball game. Yes. <laughs> it's a whole other ball so game. So now, now my my, my, now my, my I, have, I have two sons. He's, he's now uh, starting to help me. Okay. And then uh, and then the other son, my, my son, the older son, is thinking about actually uh, 
using outsourced company mm -hmm. for the database. Okay, okay. So, so right now, the, my biggest uh, fear is what happens if something happens with the, this with the office line, uh, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So if you outsource the 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 the, 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 the computer the computerization, yeah, yeah. Whatever happened, we can always download from the cloud. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that is uh, that is my son's idea. Okay. Yeah. 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 The cloud revolution, cloud, basically. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So uh, during so it started in early eighties, uh, joining your father's yes, firm exactly, in IP. Exactly. Uh, you manage sort of more of the internal uh, operations yeah, it's with more the, like it's more like uh, the, the back office. The back office. Yes. Uh, were you involved in the front facing of clients and? Back office, uh, it was my brother. Oh, your George, brother. Ah, oh, yeah. okay, okay. He's, he's, he's the front office. I, I was the back office. The back office. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. And you, the you saw the company grow over the years uh, with new clients, oh, yes. or oh, it's yeah. maintaining oh, yeah. a lot but of the. Actually, actually, the, technically, office become better. Tech become better. There, there are government regulations. Mm -hmm. Government mm -hmm. regulations. Mm -hmm. In the olden days, we got a lot of orders from firms. Okay. Firms. So not from the factories, not, not, not from the from intellectual property owner, but mm. they also go, went to agents. Okay. Like us. We are agents. Yeah. We are agents. Eh? Yeah. Also, the agent gave order to agent. Mm -hmm. So and then in because of the, the WTO, mm -hmm. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indonesia must open the door to services. Before services was closed. Yeah. Insurance, everything must only look use Indonesia. L yeah, yeah, but local. Eventually, yeah. In Indonesia has to open the door mm. for foreign services. Okay. And this, that was also including the, bis the, the the firm that doing business with us. Okay, okay. And of course, if they can open their all their own business here, of course they don't need us anymore. Yes, right? yes. So somehow, somehow. Somehow, we we are better te technique technically. We are better, but somehow we also lost some business. Mm, mm, like right. Something like that. Yeah. So that would be the main risk is uh, regulations changing, oh, yeah, regulations, right? Regulations, because because our business was protected. Yes. yes. Was protected. Was protected. Now 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 the government is all right, starting to open the medical services. Ah, I see. That's why. That's why. A lot of people were panic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also universities, you know? Yeah. But many universities are happening. Yeah. The government said we, we allow uh, a foreign university to operate here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yeah. correct. Because it was protected uh, business. Yeah, before. yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, also the renewal of uh, so you have agreements, right, with your as an as an agency or an IP uh, law firm. But also the renewal of that needs to be oh it needs to be another entity is that also regulation that you struggled with? Harus uh, ganti-ganti uh, gitu You can continue on with the same client. No, no, no. We are free. Oh, they are free. They are free. Okay. They are, they are free to if even even if, if they uh, one, uh, one, one factory can use uh, a few. Uh, okay. Not only one. Okay. But. Most big companies prefer to have one. Yeah, yeah. Easy yeah, to yeah. Roll over. Yes, 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 yes. And they're not forced to change. Eh? They're free to keep. They're free. They're free. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Free. There's no, there's no, there's no contract. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what sort of companies would look into intellectual property uh, protection? Is it uh, design companies oh, or? No, no, no. no. The, the, what are the big the, ones? The technical and chemical, pharmaceutical. Ah, I see. Those are the okay. They are the biggest. Okay, okay, okay. Pharmacy. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And there's not there's not there's not one uh, this what you what you call the, the Madrid protocol. Okay. And the protocol is uh, when you apply for a trademark. No, in the olden days, if you have, if you have, you have a, a brand, a brand, you have to register in like hundred countries. Every yeah. country you have applied. Yes, 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 correct. Yeah. But now they make it easy. Okay. They, they, they call ma, 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 uh, ma, 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 protocol. Okay. You, you, you apply from your country, like Indonesia, mm -hmm. and you stick what, whatever country you want. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then okay. this this will go to the WTO. I see. So it's not about the oh no WIPO WIPO the World what? Intellectual Property Office. I see. Organization. Okay. Yeah. And that's run uh, in where? In, in Geneva. Oh, Geneva. Okay. Okay. The Madrid Protocol. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Somehow the Europeans are very good at that when they make a, a rule. Okay, this is a global, even like ISO, right? ISO yeah, 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 certification. Yeah. It's like yeah. well, you have to go through us, but this is a globally recognized. I mean, the, what what a feat, right? To be able to do that, uh, that you can arrange yes. countries to yes, sort yes. of so actually, actually, the laws. Uh, actually, we are somehow still under control of <laughs> the old colonial countries. Yes. <laughs> Still, still bowing down. Yes, exactly. Still bowing down to yeah. that. And they, but they, but they call it international agreement. Yeah, international. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But the ruling international agreement are controlled by a few, the, the, a few yeah, countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Especially Western countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it seems like you have the sovereignty of a, a state, a running independent state, but the rules are still somehow yes, governed yes, globally yes, by yes. by the superpowers or yes. the, the hidden powers more. Yes. More, more, more. So, yeah. Yeah, very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, for those who are probably looking into um, into the field of intellectual, and it's a very niche yeah. field. Yeah. Um, what are some of the tips? Maybe you can you can give. Is it is it uh, already a monopoly game? Will all the all the pieces already bought out, or is there still an opportunity in the space? But or is it? Uh, I think I, I think in every business there is always an opportunity. Eh? It is always an opportunity because, uh, like, uh, like big companies, like like big companies, uh, pro probably they cannot. Uh, uh, so because a lot of, in, especially in, in like countries like Indonesia, mm -hmm. but mostly family business, eh? mm -hmm. mostly families. Sometimes, sometimes uh, the business is declining not because of the business, but because of the 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 next generation is not interested. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it it will die naturally. Hmm. They say after the two, two, two to three generations yes. is already the yes. biggest challenge. Yes. So, and you are now the you are the second um, or for, the for, third. I'm I'm the second. Uh, uh, now my children are the third. I see. Okay. And are you feeling that? Oh yeah, I can see the risk uh, or the challenges. I I can see the challenges, but uh, 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 fortunately, my son is very ambitious. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's good. I said, I said to I, I said to my children, don't abandon this office. Because this, abandon, this office has given us comfortable life for three generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't leave it. Yeah. Try to maintain it. Right. At least if something happens, you always you ought to try your best. Yes, yes, yes. Do your best. Yeah, right? exactly. Right. Exactly. Did you align your kids' sort of education um, to continue the business, or are you more like a father that was okay? You're whatever you're interested and passionate about, but I will try to accommodate. Yes. They are free to choose whatever they want. Mm. Too free to choose. Like, like I'm actually, I was actually, I, I actually studied electrical engineer. Yeah. Right? But I, I end up doing this business. Mm. So, it doesn't, it, does, it, it, does, it doesn't matter what study you do, but, but study is important because it, it, it uh, train your mind. Yeah. Your habits, your yes, mind, exactly. yeah, discipline and everything. discipline, yeah. So, so whatever you study, you you are, you have to be able to adapt to, to every field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a way of being a way of working, right? Yeah. That you that you got from it. Yeah. And engineering, I think, is one of the fields where you can adjust to a lot of things, right? Yes. We have programmers yeah. who are from yes. background of engineering because yes. the logic is just trained. Yes. To think uh, the flow and how things affect one yes. another. Yes. Yeah. yeah interesting. So how would you say um, is your tip for the younger crowd? Uh, you've seen sort of things change over the, the years and yeah. the decades. Um, now with the technological revolution yeah. and everything else where everyone's just on their phones most of the time, I think some working culture has also changed. Yeah. Right? Uh, for example, you mentioned, Tadi um, Aja, you were mentioning, okay, when I started in my dad's firm and until I made changes, that was 13 years yeah. right, to 96. Yeah, yeah. Some people don't even see two years in a company before you jumping ship and like, oh, I want to do something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, focus yeah. is very different. Yeah. So how what would you say to younger the younger generations, Pop? I think I think number one, you follow your passion. If, if you if, if you don't have any choice, you just follow your passion. Hmm. But because passion, you cannot you, you you cannot predict when passion will come. Hmm. Because right, right now, right now, like, uh, like for, for instance, uh, uh, my, my wife, eh? my my wife, 
she started having a passion when she was like late 40s, late 40s. Before mm. that, she didn't have any passion. Mm. And then wh when she started the business because of, of her passion, she's very enthusiastic. I see. And, 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 and this, the best business is when you, when you follow your passion. I see. Yeah. Okay. There's some people see, oh, like in the olden days, you know, bakeries, well, many, many bakeries. People saw, oh, bakery is good business. I do bakery. They fail. Mm. Because they, they don't have the passion. Mm -hmm. So the, the drive, the deep drive inside you, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the intention yes. of doing it needs to be based on passion yes, rather exactly. than, call, I exactly. want the bottom line, like this is like exactly. the business. So like, like, like if, you, uh, if you have passion, if you fail, you still push it. Push it. Mm. And then eventually it will make it. I see, yeah. I see. Interesting. And, um, uh, well, how much of that passion do you think? Uh, it's easier said than done. Some people exactly. don't even know exactly. what their passion is, exactly. right? It's knowing yourself. Yeah. Know thyself, they say. Yeah. Right? Uh, what you're interested in, what makes you tick. And I think time is and age is sort of a big factor in this. Yes. Because maybe in the beginning, you, you let external forces sort of influence your decision making uh, rather than you understanding what you really want. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? Is that, is that something that's true? You're from this, right? Yes. And my, my, my three children are also from this. Hmm. So this is very good. This, uh, they have like uh, activities, hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And every, they, they have activities at every professional uh, field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I remember, I remember my, my daughter, my daughter, uh, when she was at the middle school, she got a, a project for journalism. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then she loved it very much mm -hmm. because of, of, of those, eh? try this, doesn't suit you, mm -hmm. didn't suit you, try this, and then eventually, oh, this is, mm -hmm. I like it very mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. So, and then, she, and then she pursue her career as journalist. I see. So that was triggered when uh, she was in, exactly. in high school, middle school, middle middle school. school. Middle oh, even younger. School. Wow. Middle school. Wow. And my second son, uh, and also, uh, Sport is also very good sport. Mm, yeah, yeah. But yeah. because in the, the olden days, sport is not a profession. Mm, but mm. nowadays, sport is a profession. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, even if you are, if you are, if you are passionate about sport, probably you are not very good in sport because of of, of your physical constraint. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But at least you have the passion in sport. You can also make business from sport. Correct, correct. There are many angles to exactly, the business. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, become a journalist. Or, or you become like an organizer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, many, many facets to yes. the same passion. Yes, yes. So you were mentioning about following your passion. Uh, the perseverance will, will, be, will be there yeah. when you're passionate about the business, but also at the same time, sometimes it's, uh, it's difficult to find what you're passionate about. Yes, right? yes. Uh, you may think that you're passionate about something, but it's actually maybe your friends telling you and then you're hearing about it and gets you excited, but it's not really. Yes. Who you are yes um so yeah, you were mentioning also education is important but uh, uh finding out who you who you are essentially is is uh, is more more important yes. right because uh like your daughter finding out about journalism yes. and all that yes. stuff uh, so having said that what would you tell yourself if you can go back to the 70s your younger self yeah back in the day now that you uh you've gained sort of that uh time frame of experience and wisdom. Yeah, yeah. What would you sell, tell your younger self? About? If I have, I can start my life eh? 50 years back, eh? I'll, I'll probably pursue my career. Eh? Uh, I, I, actually, I like something to do with history. history. Mm. It's, I like to read history book. Mm -hmm. And I also like historical buildings. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So, so, so probably I like to become an architect. I like an architect too, mm. very much. Mm. But, uh, but when I was young, I, I didn't see much choice. So the the, the the field that I was I was chosen was that I was it was chosen was from my father. My, my father said, "You study electrical engineering." Okay, I studied it. Mm. <laughs> it was actually. Not my personal choice. I see. Yeah. 
you would have gone to become an architect, architect. if you had the choice. Architect. And at that time, did you know that? Did you know that uh, ah, I'm passionate about no. architecture? No. Oh, you didn't? No. I started to get interested in architect because of living in Europe. Mm. Because there are so many, many old buildings. Yeah. So nice. Beautiful buildings. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not interested in new buildings like this. Yeah. I, I'm more interested in old buildings. Yeah. 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 Okay. And that developed, and you realized that over time, and then you're like, oh, if I can go back, I would have. Yes. Yes. So that's why. That's why I I I, I built a house here. Mm -hmm. And if you see the house, it's all old time. Okay. The style, the style is all like uh, old style. Okay. I like it very much. Yeah, yeah. I don't like the modern house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it makes sense because you also like vintage and classic yes, cars. Yes. So it's yes. the same, right? They, yes. they put much more attention into the details back yes. then. Yes. Sekarang, uh, yeah, it's more clean, practical, 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 more, yeah. practical economical, yes. efficient. Yes. Yeah. So you sort of lose that extra touch. Yes. <laughs> Okay, what else would you tell your younger self? Okay, that was your career path, but what are some sort of, uh, I don't know, uh, principles or maybe a life values that you learned that you would say, hey, uh, you should be more like this? Yes, so, so actually in life, in life, in life, the most important is your reputation, okay? Mm. Reputation. So, integrity, reliability, trustworthy is very important. Mm. Because some some people, some people, when they see opportunity, they care about uh, whether this uh, this uh, this uh, they just get an opportunity, but he doesn't care about uh, whether this will harm other people or not. You know, I just think like that. Yeah, yeah, the repercussions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I think you you always in in life you always have opportunity to cheat. Yeah. Probably you gain one or two or three times after that you are finished. Mm. So the the most important most important is just uh, maintain your good reputation. Eventually, life will become very easy. Mm. Mm. Reliability, like you said, eight o'clock. I come eight o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> very reliable. Very reliable. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I don't, I, I always try to. I try. I always try to be on time. I tell you a story. Uh, in in Holland, in Holland we are very strict. Yeah. It, the train, the tram came always on time. Mm, mm, mm. So when you run from your, your from, from your apartment, you know when the tram will, will pick you up mm. exactly. Mm. So I. I, I one day I heard a story from, uh, from a friend of mine. He came a little bit late, like five minutes. He has he had an appointment for an exam, or like a uh, like an um, oral exam, hmm. oral examination. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Five minutes late. You know what the professor said? What happened to you? Ti problem with the tire? Hmm. Bridge get open. In all you have open bridge, right? Yeah, That's yeah, right. yeah. And people always said. Wow, I was there. I knew the yeah, we were stuck. Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, "Go home. Come back later. Five minutes. Go." Wow. He he, hmm. he, he, he didn't tolerate any 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 late. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very. So, very strict, and it is very important to be disciplined. Right. Right. Discipline, trustworthy, uh, reliability. It's all very important. Yeah. If you keep that. Reputation eventually your life become easy, right, easy. right. Um, and I think just to add to that, like I completely understand that some of these principles that, of course, you you have to teach your children the same yeah. things as yeah. well. Uh, not a lot of people may share the same values or perception, yeah. right? Like for you, Disney, maybe in Jakarta, it's like 15 minutes, masih okay lah, yeah. you know. Jakarta, but, right, but you, yeah, but you want to go against that current, right? No, no. For for us in our family, we have to be on time. You know, on time is uh, late, and early is on time. You yes. know, for yes. example. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, so did you did you think about those things 
as you are teaching your kids and would you tell your younger self about those things uh what are i try to tell but i, I was i always uh give them example mm. yourself as, as mm. 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 so i tried everything with, with i show my children always on time always on time it's just I, I make myself as an example. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Words can only do so much. Yes. Action speaks louder yes. than the words. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you would tell yourself earlier on again is uh, going to architecture and uh, uh, build a reputation. Would you say that you did quite well in, in maintaining your reputation? And So far, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. So probably the temptation was not as big. Not as big as yet. Yeah. <laughs> that is nice. That's true. That's true. That's true. There's a lot of noise these I, days. I, but... I, I remember. I remember one day. I, I remember one day, uh, someone uh, uh, dropped ten thousand uh, rupiah on the floor, and I said uh, the, to, to to the person, oh, "You dropped ten thousand uh, rupiah on the floor. Oh, thank you. You're so honest." I said. If it's ten thousand dollar property, I don't say anything. <laughs> it's all relative. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There, there is a certain um, apa ya? There's a certain limit, yeah. right? Where you you really get tested after after that limit. Uh, that's so true. Um, and last question uh, is: What would you give? You know, people who aspire to one day own their own Lamborghini. Um, you know, sometimes. These, these. Of course, we are all car lovers. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you you mentioned about follow your passion, and would you say to be able to afford it? Let's take it to the next step, right? Yeah. To be able to afford it, will the money come as soon as you pursue it, or you sort of have to manage what what sort of things to be able to actually afford and, and have the financial capacity to buy to buy these cars? But or is it a luck of the cards? It's just it's just a matter of luck. Eh? So. Financially, unless you are a, you, you are in unless, unless you are a, 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 in a good luck, I think yes, it's, it's very expensive. Mm. I think this is very expensive. Yeah, and not just buying it, maintaining it, the lifestyle that follows afterwards, right? Yeah, and yeah. everything else. Yeah, so that's why is, uh, there, there are those who own this are more normally those who have a lot of luck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The X factor. Yes, X factor. The X factor. And while there are also many, 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 many people who can afford, and they, they don't buy. They don't buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I think for people who likes to restore cars, eh, they can start with a simple car. Like I think my suggestion is like the 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 baby the baby they. Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Volkswagen. Yeah, yeah, Kodok. yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, you restore that car, that car maintain good value. Good value, yeah. But always, always restore car that maintain good value. If, if possible, increase value. I see, I see. Yeah. No one can ever guess can yes. to increase the value yes. unless you go rang the, the yes, prices. Yes, yeah, yes, you're yes, part yes. of the. So, so you know. if you're passionate, if you're passionate about uh, about uh, restoration. Eventually, the quality will increase. Eh? The yeah, quality, yeah, yeah, quality yeah. of your collection and also quality of your restoration. I see. The, is get, are getting better. Like in Indonesia, in Indonesia, I started uh, restoring car uh, like in '88. '88. It's now already like 16 years. No, no, no. 26 years already. 20. Yeah. 86. Now is. 70, no, 36, 36, 36, 36 years. Yeah. 36 years. Yeah. The quality of restoration in Indonesia now will pass. Mm. So after a while, passionate people come yeah. together. The skill will will, yeah, they, will improve. Yeah, yeah. Very good. With the right people. There are a lot of yeah, yeah with yeah, the right yeah, the right yeah. people and workshops. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we, we, Discuss a lot, but thank you so much. The last part is uh, what we call a lightning round. So yeah. this is sort of like a you gave me five question answer. Uh, I give you two options. You don't think too much. They say if you think too much, the first thing that comes into your mind is your truth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just give you two options. You just mention which one 
you have to pick yeah. between the two. Okay. Okay, you ready? Okay. Okay. Uh, Kuntash or Aventador? Aventador. Kuntash. Oh, Kuntash, okay. Concourse de Elegance or Goodwood Festival of Speed? I, 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 I prefer Goodwood Festival. Goodwood, okay, yeah. okay. Because Goodwood Festival, you also have concourse inside there. Concourse, okay, okay. Uh, morning drive or a gala dinner? I like morning drive. Morning drives, yeah. okay. With a community or? With community. With a community, especially. Okay. With especially. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Stelvio Pass or Lake Como? Uh, I think Stelvio. 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 Nicer drive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Como is very easy drive. Easy drive. Good, drive. Good view, easy drive. Yes, exactly. But Stelvio Pass, you have yes. sort of the... Yeah. Yes, okay. I agree with you on that one. Um, Maranello or Santa Gata Bolognese? <laughs> I think... I, styling, styling wise, I prefer Santa Gata. Oh, okay, okay. Styling wise. Styling wise. Styling wise. But which one would you prefer, Maranello? Driving. 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 Ah, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, the last question is: Imagine you have no car in your garage. Yeah. No car in your garage. You are at this stage in life. You are based in Jakarta. Yeah. And money is no object. Yeah. But you can only pick three cars. Yeah, and you have to think about what you drink, uh, well not what you drive daily uh, for the weekend drive. Yeah. But only three cars. Yeah. What would those cars be? Like? I think number one is Kijak. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number one. Okay. Because you, you have to need you need to have a Kijak. I think number two is Alphard. Okay. And then number three, I think I, I choose a Mercedes. Mercedes uh, like uh, S class. S class. Okay. S-class. okay. Three okay. cars. That's it. No Lamborghini. No. No, because Lamborghini is. If you only have three, you, you, don't, you don't buy Lamborghini. Okay. Because okay. Uh, if you have Lamborghini, you only have two practical cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if, you, if you have three cars, you, you only buy practical cars. Wow, okay. Alphard, S-Class, Kijak. and Innova. <laughs> Very practical answer. And I, wow, that, that's amazing. That's the first one on this show that someone's answered that, that practical yeah. <laughs> about yeah. their choice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming, Ba. Thank you, Val. It's been it's been an honor to have you on this seat with me for an hour uh, yeah. to discuss many things. Uh, I hope it's a two-hour show rather than an hour show, but maybe we'll have you back someday. Okay, sure. <laughs> sure. But thank you so much again, and thank you to Region Urgence for hosting us today. Uh, nice, beautiful weather. So you'll have a nice drive home. Okay. Babuche. Thank you, thank Mike. You, thank you so thank much. You, Take care. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Take care, Peter. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Mike. <laughs>